what's going on guys i am back with another reading for you guys so you already know i'm hoping you guys have a lovely day a lovely night depending on where you at and we're gonna get right into your reading we're gonna see what spirit has for you Ooh. all right so Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Some of you guys have been crying and releasing a lot of sadness at nighttime. Some of you guys have been mourning and grieving some type of loss and pain. Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, and enjoy the dance. You guys are trying to fight your way out of some type of grief and pain that you guys have been experiencing. And Spirit wants you to know with this card is that everybody stumbles. Everybody goes through the dark night of the soul where they end up crying all, all night. But the beauty of that is that those be the strongest people. All right? And in the morning when the sun comes out, you should be able to feel refreshed. You should be able to feel like it is okay with this moon here that is giving you the opportunity to feel comfortable and crying and letting things out, but to not stay in that energy when the sun rises in the morning. Spirit also wants you to work on your dreams more. Try to transmute any sad energy into working on something that you've always wanted to do. Some of you guys are artists. Some of you guys like graphic design. Some of you guys like fashion. And you guys like, um, what I'm seeing is uh, interior decorating. You guys like style is what I'm getting. Some of you guys also feel unworthy or unlike yourself when you are in a state of grieving you might not like the way you look and your appearance. You might feel dark, but spirit needs you to embrace that. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. As I was saying, transmuting grief and grief into, you know, creativity. Some of you guys need to go out in nature or get a plant or flowers. Some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath and wine and dine yourself. Some of you guys need to really, really take a day of self-care here also. Because you've been experiencing a lot of grief and sadness and solitude. And for some of you guys, you've been grieving and sadness um, and silence at the nighttime. And you cry and you cry. And then you put on this facade and you act like everything is okay in the daytime is what I'm getting for someone. Whatever the situation is for you, this is a signal to understand that everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear and what you are afraid of. Some of you guys are afraid of leaving. Some of you guys are afraid of changing your environment and your friends. Some of you guys are afraid of disattaching to, from family members and creating your own life. But all of those things is a spirit of fear. And that is made to hold you back from your actual potential here. That is made to have you sit in grief at nighttime and just cry and cry and not realize it is okay to release. But it's okay to also pick yourself back up in the morning. Fear is just a limitation that is a part of your lower mind. I'm strongly getting someone needs to be around flowers or being around a nurturing energy.
You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Some of you guys have been grieving over a soulmate that didn't work out. Some of you guys have been yearning and desiring for someone intimate where you can actually grow from and learn from and exchange high vibrational energy with. Some of you guys have been craving a more spiritual aligned relationship and romantic relationship. And a lot of things in your past has not worked out to your expectations. And again, with this card, it's saying sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So it is okay to be overwhelmed and processing all of these emotions. But it's also very important for you to know that you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. You never run. You never want to rush something over temporary feelings. Souls that are connected can never be apart. Some of you guys have separated from your person, and you are grieving. You are grieving. I don't know why I keep saying grieving. <laughs> you are grieving. I feel like also you guys are mirroring each other right now because as in separation, you guys are both healing. You guys are both healing different parts of you. I see the feminine more so dealing with her heart chakra and I see the masculine more so dealing with his mental and his crown chakra. So even in separation, you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. And sometimes the strongest people are the ones who stayed up at night and cried and grieved and released but in the morning it is very important to for you to take control of your canvas and know that life is an art it's your own personal canvas and you are the artist at the bottom of the deck we have you are spiritually connected to those you love that's why you will meet your soulmate when it's ready because you guys are grounds in each other you guys are working on the inside of one another you guys are you know mirroring each other in a way of you're healing your ways they're healing their ways it starts from the root of the issue so if some of you guys are apart or have been distant in conversation it is because you guys are both literally working on yourselves so that way when y'all come back into union when the time is right Everything will be more grounded and deep rooted into commitment and truth and loyalty and whatever it is that you desire in a relationship. That's what I have for you.